I'm Liam O'Sullivan. I'm a software developer on the Building City Dashboards project. I work with geographers, spatial scientists, data providers, urban environmental academics, and media theorists and so on, on how data may be made more available to society in effective and engaging ways. My primary role, however, is to write the software and build the infrastructure that runs a pair of dashboards for Dublin and Cork. Most people are familiar with dashboards of one sort or another now, from the collection of indicators and controls on a motor vehicle, for example, to admin and usage dashboards for software applications and services, to the Bloomberg-style financial dashboards used by stock traders. City dashboards kind of build on these examples by using similar visualization techniques, but an important distinction is that they need to appeal to a broader set of users and a broader set of use cases. The Dublin Dashboard website is designed in a minimal and contemporary style in order to help users feel more at home. It is a data-driven website, however, so the landing page immediately indicates this with numerical displays and charts. It indicates its liveness through clock and its situatedness in Dublin through the splash images and the current weather situation. Below the fold on the website, there is some basic information about Dublin with some up-to-date information about demographics and some other statistics. The research on user types led us to adopt a navigational structure that categorizes the presentation of information in four ways. These being themes, stories, queries, and tools. These navigational routes address the different tasks which various user types are attempting to undertake and provide varying levels of complexity and sophistication of visualization and interaction. The theme section is categorized by the data being presented in a straightforward manner through simple visualizations and with minimal interaction possibilities, with each chart or visualization being accompanied by a plain language uh, textual description. As such, themes charts are ideal for novice users who want to learn about singular pieces of information. Stories are data stories. This means that they are driven by data, but they have authored narrative which explains the data in a logical and progressive way. For example, this data story details the effects and the causes of the housing crisis around Dublin following the Celtic Tiger years. Um, it's broken up into three parts. We're giving some intro and then we are presented with a series of charts and programmatic explanation of what we're seeing. Third category of data organization which we use on the site uh, are queries. And queries are more complex representations of information which offer use a more functionality and are more sophisticated than is offered in themes charts. They attempt to capture tasks which may be repeated periodically by primary end users who wish to re-examine data over time and filter the results with their own needs. The dashboards are fully responsive on mobile devices which introduces challenges for the visualizations of data on smaller screens and across data networks such as phone networks. From a technical standpoint, the dashboard systems need to align with the project goals of advancing open science, open data and open source code. We publish all our research and only use data which adheres to certain standards of openness. We also ensure that the project code used to build the sites is free and open to use by anyone in any way they see fit. This raises its own challenges as the system must be general enough and written well enough that other developers can adapt it to their needs. Hopefully, the free and open source software framework we're finalizing now will be used to build city dashboards in many other places.